ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬಲ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನೃಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿಂ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಮರಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಪೀತಾತಿಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪೋದು ಶ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರು ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ರಾಮಶ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಲಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಲಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧತ್ ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷೋ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧತ್ ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕ ಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜಿಗಧರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಹುಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ 
वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथम वागीश जश बदने लक्ष्मीर जश च वक्षसी भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जत ब्रह्म साक्षात कृतनिष्ठया पी बिना समयात बिना न भोगई अपित नाम स्मरणेन तत्ते अरब्ध कर्मेति विरोत वेद यद ब्रह्म साक्षात कृतनिष्ठया पी बिना समयात बिना न भोगई अपित नाम स्मरणेन तत्ते अरब्ध कर्मेति विरोत वेद गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट व्हेन दैट विल कम इन टू अ रियलाइजेशन व्हेन दैट श्री कृष्ण नाम एंड श्री कृष्ण इज नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इच अदर कृष्ण नाम एंड कृष्ण इज नॉन डिफरेंट व्हेन वी विल गेट दैट रियलाइजेशन दैट नाम एंड नाम वी आर वन विद ईच अदर Prabhupada speaking. When our anartha, everything will be going away by the anugatya of Guru Vishnuv. When we are doing bhajana kriya, all that anartha, each and every anartha gone away. At that time, sadhan bhakti will start, and and the sadhan bhakti. At the time, at the time of sadhan bhakti, when all anarth are gone, especially we will get this realization. Krishna naam, just to do without any aparad, it is very important to do. Krishna naam, without any aparad, it is when it is coming out of our mouth, without any aparad, then we can uh, realize on our own that from naam each and every siddhi. is just coming on our palm you can just uh, get this realization on your own just by doing hari naam when all the anarth are going at that time yet at that time only shri naam we will get roop gun leela everything we can just see of bhagwan and uh, just by artificially having that kind of realization we are just uh, doing that leela smaran we don't need to do that those by doing those who are doing naam all the time those persons they they are in their own capacity by their subtle and fine body if there is some gapping slowly steadily it will just uh, decrease and after that it will just vanquished then the, after that they will be getting their swarup siddhi it means that just by doing bhajan slowly steadily that fine body and the subtle body that the, the atma with that gapping is there that will just get destroyed everything will get destroyed automatically by doing hari bhajan and we will just get uh, we will realize our siddha swarup siddha swarup means that we will get swarup siddhi automatically we will whatever that our nitya siddha swarup is there when we are just doing naam by that slowly steadily we can just uh, get the aprakrit tat of the krishna swarup everything will just get manifest in front of us and we can understand the actual swarup of krishna and just by getting the siddha swarup when it is just manifested in slowly steadily when we are doing hari naam we can get the aprakrit vishay of krishna 
द श्री नाम इज डेफिनेटली गोन टू मैनिफेस्ट आवर सिद्ध स्वरूप एंड वी विल गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू वर्ड्स कृष्ण ऑटोमेटिकली श्री नाम इज द ओनली पाथवे फॉर ऑल द जीवास विच विल जस्ट गिव दैम ऑल द क्वालिटीज रिगार्डिंग कृष्ण एंड कृष्ण स्वरूप एंड विल जस्ट गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू वर्ड्स आवर कृष्ण एंड इट इज द श्री नाम इज द ओनली वे which is just giving us the way to go towards krishna lila naam seva what do you mean by naam seva when we are speaking naam seva that naam uchcharan kari that person who is just speaking the hari naam that the actual prayojan was to for him that definitely will get manifest inside his heart it means that when naam seva means that whatever he wants to do or not to do everything is there in the hari naam suppose this is the as this is the seva i have to do so everything is there in hari naam naam seva just to speak naam seva those who are speaking the name whatever he has to do or not to do that nitya prayojan vastu will automatically come inside his heart it is there inside his heart in hidden form so it will just get uh, open in front of him and just by the kripa of hari naam everything will be done automatically all shastra you are reading vedas and by their anushilan everything or whatever vedas and uh, you are just taking out from the lotus mouth of guru vishnu and whatever reading writing you are doing of the shastra slowly steadily chini naam prabhu we will get ruchi in said naam prabhu so, uh, of this there is no doubt about it definitely will get ruchi in that the shlok which i have started with today is uh, shila rupa goswami pad ji of shri naam ashtakam this shlok is that uh, it is related with shri hari naam uh, we are actually just uh, thinking gorang mahaprabhu as uh, we are actually all the time worshiping mahaprabhu with this shlokas all the time we are just doing vandana of gorang mahaprabhu this is mahaprabhu swayam he has come in the form of hari naam he has become naam mai one with this gorang mahaprabhu he is swayam one with hari naam he is swayam bhagwan and that naam prabhu has just come in the form of gorang mahaprabhu so that naam ashtakam this shloka which is connected with that in naam ashtakam shila rup goswami pad has already written in the fourth number shloka shakshat kritinishthaya api bina samayat bina nabhavai abhaiti naam asurane na tapti arabdha karme ti virohti vira iska maane kya what does it mean actually that without getting the actual fruit of her karma without taking the result of her karma we can't do the actual yagya without the nishtha of shri naam prabhu this kind of result which we are getting karma it will not get destroyed without getting the result of that karma without getting the result of that fruit of your karma what you will be doing you definitely have to get the result of that karma without the getting the result that brahma sakshatkar that yagya it is he is actually eligible it is not at all possible those who are actually getting that it is not got at all destroyed that is called karma phal but this karma phal but your hari naam you are actually topmost you have so much infinity glorification that just by getting a slight remembrance of your hari naam but still after doing so much this karma phal is not at all going the whatever the karma we have done previously and today we definitely have to get the result of that but hey naam prabhu just by taking just by remember by your remembrance all those prarabdha karma without any without getting the result of those karma it is all actually destroyed it is not at all destroyed it is totally destroyed from the root he naam prabhu aapka pura 
your uh, full and just by speaking uh, just by the remembrance of your name this uh, all con- kind of prarabdha karma without getting the result of that without enjoying them everything get gets destroyed in the vedas also it is already uh, written in there in the vedas as well about this point it is already written in the vedas that shri harinam that it is impossible to cut your karam phal like that so it is so such an impossible thing will become possible by the remembrance of naam prabhu those mahapurush people those mahajans who are all the time busy with naam bhajan in the inside their heart there is no kind of material desire and bhukti mukti no kind of kamna vasna can come inside their heart so only one only only and only by the by the effect of shuddha bhakti only and only by the effect of shuddha bhakti it it can be it can become possible otherwise only in the effect of shuddha bhakti without getting enjoying of your previous karma phal what you have done every every bhog every enjoying mood and material lust and desire will definitely get destroyed automatically and it will get destroyed and that paratattva will definitely come in front of us only just by the effect of shuddha bhakti so much that without actually getting the result of your prarabdha karma definitely all the karm those prarabdha karm will get destroyed and all those enjoying mood and material lust and desire will definitely get vanquished this body when the body is there present that paratattva sakshatkar that darshan of par par paratattva paratattva vastu we can get that by naam prabhu those who are gyani they are jo vishay all these this mat all these vishay are there it is actually out of their mind for all those gyanis gyana di when we are speaking gyan etc all different kind of bhoga in the gyan mark whatever other uh, kind of uh, techniques you are will be, be doing and by that uh, if you will be leaving that and just taking the name nirvishesh brahm will also get destroyed and sarvishesh bhagwan will just get manifest in front of you in front of all the devotees and will just nourish the to- topmost uh, nourishment of the bhakti and we will get that uh, aprakrit eyes to see that uh, nirvish that sarvishesh bhagwan is there any enjoyment in seeing the nirvishesh brahm but that no but that sarvishesh bhagwan roop gun leela parikar vashishta everything we can see it is actually just an giving increment to the bhakti and it is actually all good for our sense organs to just take the darshan of bhagwan that's why in brahm samhita it is written in brahm samhita it is written this shloka so nirvishesh nirvishesh wali what kind of enjoyment they will take in uh, brahm but the sarvishesh bhagwan is actually there always increasing and nourishing the bhakti inside their heart it become the actual so this shloka we have already just discussed previously by bhakti yoga that we are having that bhakti yoga that kind of prakrit chakshu eyes we are getting according to that we are just getting the darshan of that sarvishesh bhagwan sadaiva hidesh 
That services Bhagwan, they are actually just getting that aparakti chakshu, all those bhakta, all those devotees, and when bhakti is by bhakti, when those aparakti chakshu and all our sense organs become aparakti are coming on the transcendental platform because without getting on the transcendental platform, it is not possible to get the darshan of Bhagwan. It is not at all possible to get darshan of Bhagwan. Lot of times we have already heard this point. This all shlokas we already have heard a lot of time. I have just discussed this shloka. The, what kind of bhav you have that devotee is having inside his heart and he is doing bhajan according to slowly steadily by doing that bhajan inside his heart no kind of uh, whatever you want if you want uh, you are doing Ram Bhajan and you want Ramji Maharaj and then Ramji will come man, you get manifest inside your heart. Nishchitmeva definitely you will get the darshan. All those uh, pure Guru Vaishnav in order they are actually in order to give Kripa to all of them they, the, the sroop which uh, the, the bhajan which they are doing according to that Bhagwan is getting manifested inside their heart like Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj one time actually in Gyan Gudri in uh, this is just uh, in front of Gopeshwar Mahadev Gopeshwar, uh, Gopeshwar Mahadev Gyan Gudri uh, just uh, uh, close to that uh, there is Kanch Mandir, one, one temple is there, glass temple. In that temple there is one very nice history regarding that and after that they have just changed that. That is near that place is there in Tulsi Das Ji just has come to Vrindavan as doing bhajan there. And when he just went to Vrindavan he has already that Swarup Siddhi. He has just got the darshan of Ram Chandra as just every day. And when he just started doing bhajan there, and he is just uh, calling Bhagwan Shri Krishna. And uh, Bhagwan has just. Uh, Bhagwan is just coming in the form of Krishna Swarup in front of Tulsi Das Ji and just giving darshan to him in Krishna Swarup. And Tulsi Das become top, uh, becoming so much surprised and he is saying to Krishna that, Oh Krishna, that you. You are speak. You are still. You are Ram Chandraji yourself. That you are Ram Chandraji yourself. Krishna is Ram, and Ram is Krishna. But still, my heart actually have all time. All the time, I have uh, uh, my lotus eyes onto the lotus feet of Ram Chandraji. And then Bhagwan, after hearing this, and then Ram Chandra Krishna just got uh, vanquished from that place, and that place is also there, and then Ram Chandra just manifested himself there. So what kind of bhav is there inside your heart? Narutam Das Thakur has written this in Kirtan. And in the sadhan, what you have done, and in Siddhi you are getting the other result, it is not at all possible. In Vrindavan, all those are, all are actually speaking Katha. Lot of Kathakar are there who are speaking Katha. They are speaking very nice, sweet, sweet words. But no Siddhant is there. Maybe one to Siddhant they are speaking in between. And in between they are just speaking one shloka of Mahaprabhu. Also, maybe so all the people can think that uh, all Gaudiya devotees will also run for them. But no, even one single Siddhant which are is not there. Lot of times it is had, it has just come in my ears that just by doing 84 crores Harikatha, I just went to Khaira. And when I just went to Khaira, 
I just taken half an hour rest and after that doing Hari Nam and doing Anik uh, of the afternoon. And there is one Baba in Vrindavan. He is actually one Katha car. He is just uh, uh, starting one Hari Katha and he will not actually, he is actually listening to that Hari Katha of that Katha car with full of enjoying mood. And I was just hearing that how actually they are speaking this kind of Siddhat and how he is actually hearing this kind of Siddhant because both of them will get the punishment it is it is very important to get the punishment because it is written in the shastras because i am not speaking this actually shastras are speaking this those people who are actually which who are actually with definitely both of them will get punishment like this i from the childhood i am just uh, reading this point that that what it is those who have done the wrong and those who have seen the wrong and who have just uh, uh, all both of them are aparadhi both definitely both of them will get the punishment definitely both of them will get the punishment because it is written maharaj it is written there in the shastras that it is in the shastra it is written that for infinity period he will go to hell those who have just heard it wrong from a wrong source then definitely they will I was just hearing from half an hour what he is actually speaking very sweet words but no Siddhant every music is there but no Siddhant which are is there I was just thinking what wrong they are just hearing. Some Ramanandi Sadhu in Vrindavan has just come from Ayodhya and he has just got attraction towards Krishna Charan and he has done lot of Sadhan Bhajan and his Bhajan is just uh, is actually just similar to Gaudiya Vaishnava. All those means that those who are doing God Vaishnava Bhajan they are actually similar to that his Bhajan. I was just hearing how it is possible, how it can be possible that it is, is similar to Krishna Bhajan. It is not at all possible. I will, every you will get surprised. Those they are, they are actually speaking that they are actually international preacher. But Bhagwan actually speaking what? Bhagwan only knows. I will not at all speak even a single word that what kind of bhava behavior acharan I have just seen and just have seen that what kind of bhava they have inside their heart. Just by hearing, just by just by seeing only I can watch. Just by seeing his face only I can understand what kind of international preacher he is. But they, these are actually Ramanan Sadhu. Actually, we are actually not fighting on this. That they are just doing bhajan of Ram. Okay, like Ramanandi Baba, we can just go to. They are actually one Siddh Mahatma was there. I used to go to him. So he was actually doing Ram bhajan. Means that their Gurudev has just given him the mantra of Ram. This is a normal Siddhant. There is no fighting in it, but still people just started fighting. From that Gurudev, we have got that Ram mantra. Apart from that, we haven't got Krishna mantra, and it is not at all possible also to get Krishna mantra from them. So they are actually just doing the Ram mantra and doing Ram bhajan. Maybe some Leela, sweetness of Leela of Ramchandra is there inside his heart. But how it is possible that he is Ramanandi Sadhu and he is not at all doing Krishna Bhajan and all kind of Siddhant which are is there is inside his heart. It is not at all possible. Maybe that Panditya, he has that proficiency in knowing about the Siddhant. Maybe slowly, steadily he just know about something about the Siddhant. But that actual rasa will not come inside his heart because the mantra which is given by Gurudev, because that mantra which is given by Gurudev is equivalent to Hari. Who is mantra? That is Hari. And who is Hari? That is mantra. 
सो हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल दैट इन द ना रामानंदी संप्रदाय इज वन सम इज डूइंग रामानंदी भजन स्लोली स्टेडली ही इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग द तत्व ज्ञान ऑफ कृष्ण हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल बट दे आर स्पीकिंग दिस दिस पीपल आर स्पीकिंग दैट दे आर एक्चुअली डूइंग राम भजन एंड इज जस्ट इक्वल टू दैट ऑफ द कृष्ण भजन एंड दे आर जस्ट गेटिंग सिद्धि इन कृष्ण भजन हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल इट इज जस्ट फुलिशनेस लाइक अ मैड पर्सन एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इन द सेम आई हैव ऑलरेडी हर्ड दिस थिंग दैट आई एम टेलिंग यू but in order to just cut his siddhant it is not about not at all possible because his name is lot of uh, people are just taking so in tulsidas ji in front of tulsidas ji when ramchandra ji just get krishna just get manifested in front of them then tulsidas ji with very humble mood speaking to krishna chandra that my heart is actually just getting melted that in order to get the darshan of my ishtavide then after that he just got the darshan of ramchandra ji that is is today so is there any mixing thoughts in this this all all this material world this is just kind of mixing uh, things they are finding it very tasty so they are just speaking some some music is there some singing some song and two three words they are speaking oh mara very nice hari katha is there so this is the case you see so so vishesh bhagwan just by our all uh, materialize when we can get the darshan of that swavishesh bhagwan it is a very uh, uh, serious in depth siddhant vichar when all our sense or all our sense organs we call seva mukh are just getting busy in seva then bhakti devi will just uh, uh, be spreaded all over our sense organs and our sense organ we will will become transcendental and that shloka of brahm samhita will just get manifested inside their heart shurit bhakti vilojane na santah sadaiva hridayesh vilokayanti ishvara vishnu so here actually it is uh, written permanently it already is spoken that you have that anjan that black of uh, prema on your eyes and do in front of those transcendental uh, sense organs all their gun roop leela etc everything bhagwan will manifest in front of them that's why brahma sakshatkar in order to get nirvishes bhagwan is nirvishes brahma is nothing but knowledge but the service is bhagwan those who are actually should be what is they are actually getting that it is actually the wish of getting the transcendental nectar from the lotus feet of krishna just by getting with the with the transcendental sense organs burst by the kripa bhakti devi we can get that darshan and in shruti in shruti vakya also it is written like this in shruti vakya in shruti vakya in this lok only that in this lok only it is we can just get the darshan of bhagwan it is already written there in the shruti vakya as well for this for this we don't need to worry about anything that you get the feeling of that bhagwan and to get the darshan of bhagwan we don't need any kind of thing we just need to get get the kripa of bhakti we are just dependent on the kripa of bhakti Krishna Katha and Krishna Swayam and Bhakti 
and bhakti and mukti bhukti mukti and siddhi etc just to get that uh, it is almost impossible to get that in the english katha i also i am just speaking this point where that how it is possible that uh, they have just not they haven't taken any diksha in the guru grah and no vrat etc nothing they are actually following and with everything they are getting by the good association this satsang they are act, this is actually not a normal satsang what they got this is not a normal satsang what they are getting that very rare bhakt devotees just to get the association of those rare devotees it is not uh, for the normal satsang they are getting it is not at all possible to get just to get that bhukti mukti siddhi etc just to get uh, far away from that it is not at all possible to get uh, uh, to get all these things vanquished it is not at all possible so but for this reason bhagwan has just told to uddhav ji and is speaking about this siddhant vijaya to him that that these people actually everything by bhagwan 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 is told all these are actually all these are they are all my devotees by the getting the association of my devotees i all have just come on to my lotus feet how it is possible every all people have just come on to the my lotus feet they have just got my lotus feet so this all those very rare devotees this association of this maha mahajan bhakt apart from that when you are just getting rid of the association of those top most uh, devotees just to get that uh, that to get krishna unmukh in actual and bhakti mukti siddhi etc to just get rid of that it is not a, it is not a normal thing bhakti bhakti and bhagwan they are all at nirgun bhumika on hari ram hari naam is also uh, free from all the three modes of material nature so nirguna so nirguna bhakti nirguna bhagavati shraddha so this nirguna bhagavati shraddha without that that saguna that nirguna vishay in order to get into that it is not at all possible to get into that so what we can understand that this nirguna bhagavati shraddha you know just to uh, apart from that that saguna bhakti we cannot get we cannot get any kind of ruchi in nirgun vishay and that uh, nirgun vishay will not take birth inside our heart and uh, gyani yogi and nirgun brahma gyani yogi also they are also taking the shelter of they have that uh, desire to get that uh, brahm prapti they pralad maharaj also crying loudly and speaking that i am not at all that much greedy that for my own mangal i will be just uh, i will just be praying for all all the jeevas mangal that they should get that eternal happiness all the jeevas so i don't thakur ji i don't have this prayer that only i will need this eternal happiness and i will just go into the forest and just for my own mangal i will be just thinking not like that i am not at all greedy like that i am just actually thinking of the mangal of all the jeevas that's why i am just uh, all the devotees are just doing the naam gun roop leela bhagwan and doing hari naam all the time those yogis they also have that paramarthic uh, desire and that mukti they actually they are not serving bhagwan they just want mukti that's it but the devotees that bhagwat prapti desire is all the time there inside their heart that serving attitude towards bhagwan is all the time there they always want to serve bhagwan 
just for the satisfaction of Bhagwan, just to satisfy the sense organs of Bhagwan, and they are actually all kicking all kind of bhukti mukti. They are just doing it for seva. With serving attitude, they are serving Bhagwan. Apart from that, they are not actually thinking of their own satisfaction, bhukti mukti. Not at all. They are thinking of that. Bhukti mukti kami. All are actually not not at all peaceful. They are restless. They are all unstable. But that Krishna bhakti is peaceful, and that's why he is stable. Krishna bhakti is all the time peaceful and is very settled. It's not at all restless. Those bhakti paran devotees that they are not at all thinking about the smell of their satisfaction. Only they are actually thinking of the satisfaction of sense organs of Krishna in order to satisfy Krishna. They had this kind of feeling is all the time getting manifested inside their heart. And uh, if you will be just doing uh, other kind of uh, vichar, that they are all the time just getting their own sense gratification and just to get their own happiness inside their heart, they have this desire. Apart from that, there is no other way they have in their life. Only apart from bhakti, which is there written in the Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, all the time it is written. So apart from Bhagavad Dharma, to just get that Atma, Atma Dharma, in just to get manifested in that Dharma, without any Kaitav, it is not at all possible in any Sampradha. Maybe he is in the Ramanin Sampradha or Ramanji Sampradha or Madhvajara Sampradha, he is there and he is doing Naam, Naam of Bhagavan and he is doing Harinam of Bhagavan and to do Harinam in Ramanan Sampradha and in Ramanan Sampradha is not, is not the same, it is different. It is totally different to do Harinam in that. The devotees who are the glorification of the devotees, I have already told. Everyone is actually just getting their own material desires and lust and they are just going ahead. They don't have a single normal vichar, normal siddhant vichar they don't have inside their heart. That for Bhagwan, we don't need to do any kind of business. We don't, we don't need Bhagwan. We don't need Bhagwan at all. We actually want from Bhagwan. We don't want Bhagwan. We want from Bhagwan. All those yogi, they just want have the desire of getting Paramatma and Ashta Siddhi they want and Bhukti Mukti kind of desires, different kind of desires are there. But only one devotee there to get that uh, desire of Bhagavad Prabhupada. In, in that it is just for the full satisfaction of Bhagwan with serving attitude and they are actually not having this kind of, of their own sense gratification. They are not at all thinking of that. Those who are Bhakti Parayan, all those devotees, for all those devotees, this kind of uh, topmost happiness, it is just to satisfy the eternal Bhagwan Shri Krishna's and to satisfy Bhagwan's sense organs with full serving attitudes. This kind is, of attitude is just getting manifested inside his heart. And other kind of uh, things which we see, definitely there is some kind of contamination there. So how to do Harinam in that condition, it is not at all possible. Kaitam means Agyan. By that Kaitam, Bhakti, those who are bhakti man vyakti, those who have bhakti inside their heart, they all the time with that atma priti vancha they have inside their heart, they are actually untouched by that. 
they are not at all contaminated by that so apart from bhagavad dharma that incomplete uh, swarup of that uh, bhagavad dharma there is no other dharma nobody is uh, nobody can get uh, there in that other dharma that's why bhakti and the bhagavad dharma the actual symptom of that bhagavad dharma the bhakti and the bhagavad dharma the symptom of that bhagavad dharma in the conclusive result there is actually that actual result of bhakti is written there what is that this all actually have just told there it means that in shrimad ji bhagavad ji mahabharat those who are nibrat sar sadhu or pure guru vaishnav it is already the symptoms are already given in that in that answer it is written about the question in return to that it is written that this kitav it is just come in the form of those who are greedy that kapat bhav is there inside them it is not at all they have just thrown that greedy bhav from their heart and this prachit what does this word means those sadhus that is the top most dharma of the sadhus that in actual in fine form the sadhus in fine form this kapat bhav is there inside them they have just leave that kapat bhav and the prakisht what do you mean the prakisht it is written there this prachit this word this uh, with pro word pro plus uchit if you have just uh, uh, heard vyakaran then you can understand that prayojat means prayojat means pro plus uchit pro is by this word pro shridhar shridhar swami pad has just uh, told us that you see this situation in this situation only hari naam is possible otherwise not possible by this word pro all kind of uh, mukti and bhukti and siddhi etc all he is actually living means all the even the moksha vansha desire of moksha also they have just thrown by that pro word pro word this kind of uh, desire for mukti also they are uh, throwing away those who are actually those who are the desirer of moksha this is also getting thrown away old seva word what do you mean by that seva word that all those people actually this material world people they are actually just uh, uh, using this seva word here and there but that seva word is only used for the satisfaction of krishna seva word is it is actually used for that actual satisfaction of that upasya vastu that bhagwan shri krishna just in order to satisfy that upasya vastu just need to satisfy them that seva word is used those who are actually akatav akatav devotees this kind of word we can only use there only apart from that bhakt and bhagwan the kind of relationship this oneness is there in between them that between the devotees and the bhagwan they or they are on both of them are on the same platform and they are this oneness this kind of oneness of bhagwan and the devotees this can this actually proves this point that without serving attitude there is no other pathway open those who are other upasaks they are actually just doing Uh, demigods upasak and brahm upasak in the shruti also it is written maybe the people are speaking like this but what to speak what they will speak about that maybe the, all the mad people are speaking like that that you do service of gau mata and demigods and brahm se go seva is actually also connected with krishna but it is not coming in that so other sevas like demigods seva and brahm seva and parmatma seva all these kind of words in shruti smriti etc it's not written there at all and the other and other way if you are just having this vichar that bhagwan is bhakta vatsal you just be careful about this point that bhagwan is bhakta vatsal bhagwan the name of bhagwan is only bhakta vatsal 
the name of Bhagwan is only Bhakti Vatsal. Uh, for others, it is not at all there, this name. Those who are actually doing Bhakti, they are Bhakti Vatsal. But, uh, but it is not written there in the Shastra, and we haven't found that in the Shastra, or haven't, have you found that in any Shastra, that uh, about Bhagwan it is written, Jnani Vatsal, Yogi Vatsal, you have heard about this? No, it is not at all written. That Bhagwan is Karmi Vatsal, Yogi Vatsal, Bhagwan is Karmi Vatsal, it's not at all there. Why? Because it is not at all possible. Only Bhagwan is that Bhakt Vatsal, one word is coming there in Shastra. So those who are Shuddha Bhagavad Gana, that Upasya Vastu is Bhagwan only. And Bhagwan is only getting satisfied by those pure devotees. That is called Dharma Projita Kaitava Kaitavat. It is written there. This shloka will definitely come here. This word actually is applicable here because we know that in order to do Harinam, we Siddhi, Mukti, etc., all kind of desires, we just get destroyed from our heart. Everything we have to throw, otherwise we will not get the Kripa of Nam Prabhu. It is not at all possible to get the Kripa of Nam Prabhu. Krishna Seva, in order to get that uh, actual happiness of that Krishna Seva, it is coming that uh, that kind of Atma Sukh will not at all come. It means that Bhagwan Sri Krishna is like that. By His Seva, by Seva of Krishna, by Seva of Krishna, we are not at all thinking about our own satisfaction at all. There is no kind of vishay that we can think of our own satisfaction. It means that even in dream also, he is not at all asking anything. Those who are doing that uh, uh, Krishna Seva, those who are getting the happiness, uh, that topmost happiness, those who are Nishkam devotees, with full anand, they are actually serving Krishna Seva. That uh, they are actually, they are not at all doing any anusadhan of Atma Seva apart from that. And Pariki Abhav, then in Rupanuk Bhajan also, one Manjari and in, in the life of these Manjaris and Sakis, they don't have any kind of desire for themselves. Whatever, like, apart from that Vilas of Radha Govind, they are getting that topmost happiness there. It is already seen Chaitanya Chirtamrit and Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami also speaking that this Sakhi Manjari acts in. Uh, they are actually, they are not at all want to get enjoyment with Krishna. They don't want, in each and every, maybe Lalita Vishakha, whosoever is there, where Dupmanjari is also there. They are not at all having this kind of feeling that they don't want to get uh, togetherness with Krishna, even in dream also. But still, what happened? That when they just get the uh, togetherness of Radha Govind, that Vilas, they are actually getting that happiness in that. How it is possible? Like uh, when they are getting this Leela of Radha Govind is going on, but they are actually getting that Ashta Satvik Vikar in, on their body. Their hair for Isal is just getting erect, hair, their hair just cut stand, and their body is just shivering, and they are just getting falling unconscious, and their sweat is coming on the body. So, how this is possible? This is Ashta Satvik Vikar. So, actually, the Vilas of Radha Govind is going on. So how they are getting Anand? There is one example given of this, like uh, one in the in the tree of one flower. There is one flower. There, that tree is there, and in that tree of flower, if you will just give water onto the root, then definitely it will give ev all the nourishment to all the uh, creepers and branches. Differently, you don't need to give to water to the branches and creepers. So in this way. When that that actual root cause, you are just giving everything onto the lotus feet of Radharani, then everything automatically, uh, everything will get satisfied. That is the actual bhava of Sakhi Manjari. They are at all, not at all having that feeling to just get uh, individual uh, happiness with Krishna, but with the vilas of Radha Govind, they are actually getting all that eternal happiness and blissfulness. So, in order to get that absolute happiness of that uh, in the heart of the Nishkam devotee, all the time they are finding that Anand 
and for uh, uh, individually they are not at all asking for their individual anand this kind of anand is not at all there inside their heart those who are actually in nishkam devotees this they have that bhagwat seva happiness they will be having inside their heart each and every heart it is not at all possible to get that bhagwat happiness only in the heart of the nishkam devotees this kind of bhagwat seva happiness will be there inside their heart at one place it can only stay in that heart only in each and every one's heart it will not possible to get that bhagwat bhakt happiness if you are having that bhakti mukti desire inside your heart in up till that this kind of aswad and that taste of bhagwat seva cannot come inside your heart it is not at all possible to get that bhakti mukti spriha yavat isaji hidi vartate yavat bhakti shukha shatru It is already written there. Then bhukti mukti spriya, this kind of pishach is just there inside our heart. Up till that point, the taste of bhakti, how we can get that? It is not at all possible. When inside our heart, this kind of bhakti, mukti, spriha, vancha, all kind of different desires are there are present inside our heart. Up till that point, how it is possible to get that bhakti, bhakti, bhagwat seva happiness? How it can be possible to get that? It is not at all possible. In this point, on this topic. definitely i want to discuss because it is very important to discuss this point so those mahaprabhu this shloka sunnaidam jagat sarvam govinda virayane nam kim ma nayanam galu sudharaya vadanam gadagada ruddhai gira kulaker nishidam babhu kadatma nam gone bhavishyati no dhanam no janam na sundari kavitam bhajavadish kamai mama janmaya nishara bhavata bhakti rahitvite ek kaise samajh so how we can understand this point all these things how we can understand which is actually coming in front of us how we can just without describing it we can just uh, understand karma gyan yog etc all they are all written in narad bhakti sutra also it is written about this that's why especially apart from bhakti a uh, karma gyan and sector it is not at all possible to get that uh, uh, eternal happiness bhagwat seva happiness just by discussing this point we are actually bhagwan ko dekha naam mein actually seeing that bhagwan is naam mein bhagwan is naam mein swayam nami purush and bhagwan is swayam nami purush but still he has become naam mein and in front of bhagwan they are actually just uh, crying and speaking this yesterday i have already discussed this point and there are lot of things are there the which are actually related to this bhakti mo thakur actually speaking in kirtan just by singing the glories of naam inside my heart that bhav is just getting manifested inside my heart and immediately what has happened that uh, i have just got the eyes to get the bhav that is sakshat krishna is there at the river of at the bank of yamuna i have already told this shloka Slowly, slowly, while just singing the glorification of Hari Nam, this kind of bhavagram just get manifesting inside my heart, and immediately what I can see that Krishna is there at the bank of Yamuna, that Sham Sundar is there with his flute. For this, this is just like uh, for this, it is just like a joking for us. But Jayadev Goswami, in the life of Jayadev Goswami, we can see that in practical form. 
he just become got mad after seeing this in the life of jaydev from it is happened it has happened we have already seen this i have already seen about the i have this kind of knowledge about jaydev goswami at that last time in purushottam dham he has just lived for a long time and after that in ken kendu billam gram also he has just stayed there for some time and after that he has just went after that to vrindavan he just become mad jade goswami and he has just become so mad with full bhav you know it is very impossible to handle so situation of jade goswami is so that it is not possible to just uh, control him but padmavati maiya is actually just uh, Uh, maintaining uh, the situation of Jayadev Goswami, so actually all thief robbers, everything forest is there, and after that, uh, just getting rid of everything, they have just come onto the border of that 84 crores parikrama. In that situation, what happened? Jayadev Goswami is just in that 80 in the area under the area of the 84 crores parikrama. This area is still it is area, but that is called Vibhu Vastu, transcendental. it means that this 84 crores man he is just going to just put his feet on the 84 crores border then he can't able to use put his feet on the border and he just uh, fall fell unconscious because on in all the four direction that he is just getting the charan chin of that sham sundar yadav ko swami actually speak just yadav ko swami is just uh, seeing that on in all the four direction that lotus feet of sham sundar is there and where i will just put my own feet so it's like this he's just like mad crying like anything and in this situation only when in brajamandal it is not at all possible to get inside the border of 84 crores parikrama Uh, in this way, this other kind of uh, uh, problem just came. When he just saw the charan chin of Sham Sundar, and he just want to get, and he is getting that tension that how I will get uh, because I don't have any place to just uh, put my feet there. In that, in this manner, he just saw in a very small, uh, distant place. Yeah, that was when he has not come onto. He just want to go into the Braj Mandal border. but how how he is thinking that how to get inside the bridge in that he is just finding from a very small far distance uh, under a tree sham sundar is actually with the radha rani that radha vilas of radha govind is there and this just by having this darshan jayadev goswami is just running like mad he has just seen vanshi vat or some under that kadam tree he has seen maybe so the by seeing that jayadev goswami just got mad and he just uh, lost his consciousness and all kind of consciousness got lost and he is just uh, running towards sham sundar in order to uh, catch sham sundar and he just got unconsciousness and just fell down so nice bhav you see so bhakti mein thakur also is not a normal person he is a seventh goswami himself He is actually it is natural for them to get this kind of bhav. It is not at all kirtan. What Bhakti Mohan Thakur has written has just written about his realization in his life. He has just written it in the form of kirtan. Inside our life, they have already uh, just uh, realized this point inside inside their heart. Now we have just seen about Bhakti Mohan Thakur has seen that, and he has just seen the swarup of that Sham Sundar under the tree. Uh, Radha Govind is doing vilas, and Bhakti Mohan Thakur is actually just giving his own feeling, realization that that this Yugal Kishore and Kishori just by seeing them. At that time, I just fell down unconscious there. Like Jayadev Goswami has in, uh, in Jayadev Goswami's life, it is done. 
for so much time it is he is actually just got in unconscious condition i don't know about that all those pure devotees they don't know about anything about time they are all the time there in nitya seva maybe sometimes they are actually asking that what is the actual day today what is the actual month today they don't have this kind of remembrance oh today is sunday oh this is today is saturday they don't have this kind of thinking even also they are actually forgetting about ekadashi they just need to see ekadashi oh they just forgot that because all the time they are in seva busy in seva so it is very much difficult to get this so it's like uh, bhakti unta was speaking that at up to what time i was there in an unconscious state i don't know about that bhakti unta was speaking and after some times i just got my consciousness back and that darshan just got vanquished from my eyes and now i am not getting that darshan what i was getting that that time and when that darshan is not there bhakti no thakur is just started crying how actually i can just get my life back how i should live now because my that it is just like uh, when my twinkle one twinkling of eyes is there then it is just looks like as if one yug is just it is equivalent to one yug and after that he has just told about the actual situation of him that what is his actual situation when bhagwan is actually not there this kind of uh, crying is going on all the time from the uh, in the uh, at the time of uh, monsoon you can just see the water is flowing like continuously and to just uh, protect our own body and our own life it is not at all possible to protect how we can live without govind radha govind and bhakti no thakur has in this situation is just become mad and again he is just taking himself under the shelter of naam prabhu and is just giving him some consolation after that and just want to give him some peacefulness some anand some backing to him after that ho nath ho radha nath all radha ni actually speaking kashi kashi you just give me darshan i am actually just getting the, on the verge of death you give me darshan sir radha ni speaking so this is the like this bhakti thakur speaking bhakti thakur this feeling of bhakti thakur this is actual feeling this kind of feeling direct feeling this is actually direct feeling of bhakti no thakur maybe you can think that what kind of feeling is there in mahaprabhu it is actually naturally there inside them the feeling what is there in naturally in mahaprabhu that will definitely in the devotees also bhakti no thakur that's why he just uh, came to us in in front of us just to teach us that you see how you just need to just need to go in your bhajan life you don't need to go to any cheater and thagi and all kind of pakhandi you don't need to go to them so insert the heart of bhakti no thakur this kind of bhag bhav already manifested inside this heart it is not at all impossible to get that bhav inside his heart this is natural only inside the heart of shila bhakti no thakur this kind of bhav is getting manifested inside his heart it is quite natural so so he is actually the actual kamal manjari of radha rani mahaprabhu ka jo mahatras so mahaprabhu what is actually speaking we have already just bhakti no thakur is just touching this point he has just given the kirtan of and just given the what mahaprabhu is there in the bhav 
is all, also this kirtan is also given by bhakti vinod thakur and what mahaprabhu is actually speaking about uh, in krishna virahe that this kind of vilap of radharani that what Maha, uh, radharani that mahaprabhu in uh, nila nila chalkhetra in a very silent place with uh, swarup damodar and rai ramanand he is actually just tasting that uh, transcendental topmost rasa that is called krishna karnamrit and the other one is brahm samhita especially krishna karnamrit that is the topmost rasmai book and uh, with the pati karur chandida all the time he is just uh, hearing the kirtan on and uh, the book of them and what kind of bhakti they have mahaprabhu is actually just uh, taking their uh, articles and the sarudha and the sarudha mother they are actually just uh, uh, discussing about that and there is also one book in this only the krishna karnamrit was there mahaprabhu speaking is very swear and worse and how i can live like that dinantarani hari tada lokanam antarino anath bandhu karunaik sindhu ha hantu ha hantu katham naya how i can how kaise jiye how we can how i can just uh, live my life like that bhakti no thakur has just written the kirtan as well just without taking the darshan of your lotus mouth and lotus uh, feet dina bandhu karuna sagar e adhanno dina divanishi kemani kadaiva dashi upaye bolo ho otop pare ye dashi aapka kaise is dashi how she can just lead her life it is not all possible so this actually madhavendra puri pad also on the tongue of madhavendra puri pad in padmavali book it is written in this padmavali this shlok is there one shlok that madhavendra puri pad is just getting uh, from the mouth of lotus mata madhavendra puri pad but our guru varg has just told that originally this bhav is actually the bhav of radharani This is the actual uh, conclusive point of the Radharani. What she is speaking, it is what the actually tongue of Radharani. Maybe this kind of word has just uh, come from the lotus mouth of Radharani. And now today, this Madhavendra Puri Pad is just uh, getting onto the tongue of Madhavendra Puri Pad. Just become Mathuranath now, and you are actually 
you are actually Vrindavan Chandra. We are just start speaking you now, Vrindavan Chandra. Now you have become Mathura Nath. And how we will just get your darshan again? Without just seeing you, your lotus mouth, your lotus like lotus like face, it our heart has become so much heavy that we are just feeling so much heaviness and uh, and without your darshan, our life is going away. It looks like that our life is going away. So what to do though in that? Prajavasi just used to do very nice, nice, beautiful kirtan. And with Prajavasi, what kind of bhav they have, who can understand? Not of kirtan they are doing, maybe they are understanding or not, but they are doing that kirtan. It means the Parlipar means just to cross that river on the other side. It, he has just become so mad in order to cross this uh, Go, go to the other way. They are just speaking like this. <laughs> like they, in order to get uh, out of this, uh, they don't have, they don't want to go out of this parli par, but still they just want to cross that. <laughs> just speaking, that's it. So this is what Vilva Mangal Thakur has written. Prabhupada has just told this point that for any Gaudiya devotee, maybe he is actually is in Gaudiya Math and he is a Gaudiya devotee. Prabhupada is speaking that this Madhavendra Puripaji. This shloka of Madhavendra Parji, this kind of realization which Madhavendra Purivad has. This is actually this without getting the realization of this shloka, nobody will get Siddhi in Gaudiya Bhajan. This kind of realization should be there, otherwise he is a Gaudiya Bhagavad, otherwise not. We actually, I, we actually can't stay like that. We, that Krishna, Shri Krishna Virhe, what kind of a topmost Bhavanamad situation, condition is there in Radharani that Mahaprabhu has just manifested in front of us and we have seen that. Our Guru Varga is also speaking that more than this, that Srimati Radharani, whatever Bhav is there in Srimati Radharani, in the mode of separation for Krishna, it is more and more we can see how he actually he is Radharani only, but actually this is the actual will of uh, uh, Govinda. So there actually Radha and Govind both are there. So this actually there Gorang Mahaprabhu, whatever uh, bhav, that reaction is there. The bhav, the one they have just seen the actual. Uh, Bhav is we have just seen the nobody has just heard it in the uh, infinity lifetime also. It is impossible that in the Gorang Mahaprabhu Leela also we have just seen this kind of uh, commentary we have just seen. We haven't seen this kind of thing uh, before. So Yoda Shri Krishna Vimohini Srimati Radharani just to just to see that uh, we are, can't even hear about that Brahma Gita, that's why I will not be discussing that Brahma Gita also. I will be discussing it in Uddham Sambad. Maybe slightly I will touch about Brahma Gita. I'll just give that indication because we don't have this kind of adhikar. It is strictly prohibited. Our Guru have just strictly prohibited to do this here Brahma Gita. That Krishna Vimoni Srimadhi Radharani, that topmost bhavan ma, that topmost bhav which is there inside her heart. It means that at the time of death there are ten kind types of death. Tagar Udvek that tension. There are 
ten uh, types of uh, uh, deaths. It is all type of these things are already there inside Adarani. In Chaitanya Chaitanya also when we are discussing it, it is already written that this kind of feeling of Mahaprabhu is written there. You understand Tushu? Like uh, when you are just getting uh, the rice, that kind of uh, cover of that rice, that is Tush. Inside that Tush, we are not at all seeing the fire. We cannot see the fire, but the inside there it actually is fire. There is kind of jet, uh, topmost uh, firing uh, condition is there inside that. So this all this three material world is just getting uh, this is very easy to speak but just to realize this part is very much difficult. When we will get this kind of situation and condition in our life. So Prabhupada Ju has just written Vibhrati He Govinda just to get your in, in your Virahe. Hey Govinda, in your virahe, I am actually all all the material world is actually just nullified and uh, just uh, just like uh, my tears are just continuously flowing from my eyes just like uh, rainfall and uh, just like a twinkling of my eyes it just looking like that if uh, it looks like it is compared to one yuga and this is the actual this is the excellent, excellent example of Vipralambha Prabhupada speaking. This is the actual excellent example of Vipralambha Rasa. When Rati, those who have all, those who have actually Rati produced inside them, this kind of uh, Jaturati Bhav, this is the actual uh, uh, symptom of that Jaturati Bhav devotees. Those who are actually Jaturati devotees, this kind of uh, there is actually transformation of some bhog. There in they have some transformation of some bhog. Some bhog. This we pralam brasa. That topmost glorification of uh, means that by some bhog also they they actually more more they want more we pralam. Those jaturati bhakta devotees they actually don't want some bhog. They want uh, more than. Uh, more than more anand is there in that uh, state of vipralamba they just want to get that separation mood they don't want some bhog so that in order to show that this shloka actually has mahaprabhu has just told us when vipralamba that virharasa uh, it means that Prabhupada speaking that in this material world that if this Vipralambras is just getting manifested in this material world then it will get us to material, to hell because this kind of material rush will definitely put us in Maya because this kind of material uh, Vipralambras we don't want at all Prabhupada speaking that this kind of material material Vipralambras will definitely put us in uh, uh, hell but this Aprakrit Vipralambra that topmost happiness we will get that there is so much uh, externally it is just like uh, unstable and lot of uh, distress is there but internally actually lot of uh, anand and blissfulness will be there if uh, externally there is uh, vipralam is there separation mood is there but internally that one oneness and togetherness is there that is the actual characteristic of this uh, transcendental world externally actually it is lot of uh, uh, pain is there externally but inside there is lot of anand so that's why mahaprabhu actually speaking that onto the lotus feet of krishna we i don't have even a smell of uh, krishna prem is there but still what to do that's why this kind of uh, 
my life is my body is just like uh, stool and uh, just like uh, insect and worm why i will just be keeping this body prabhupada actually speaking that in the life of vaishnav also they are just getting into this vipralam bhav externally we are seeing that they are in lot of distress in vipralam bhav it inside inside their heart they are full of anand and externally they are full of pain Prabhupada is giving this example that uh, whatsoever you see that uh, Vaishnav and whatever uh, mental tension you can see no money there is if externally there is no money and they are uh, getting sick externally you are just seeing that but internally it is not like that. Externally you can just see so much distressfulness is there but internally there is a, there is actually flood of anand. They are just getting uh, into that flood of anand. Vipralandi, Vipralam Bhav is the topmost uh, Pariposhak. Vipralam Bhav. It is actually the giving nourishment to Sambhoga and in Vipralamba this uh, different kind of Prema Vachitra, different kind of Prema, in Vipralamba this there is different kind of uh, Prema, they are inside that, it is already there inside that, why? Because Prem Vachitra, different kind of Prema, that uh, manifestation of Bhagwan is there, we can feel that, that is the actual final goal of our bhajan. Those who are actually, those Kaur Nagari, those who are Sahajiyas, those who are actually just uh, uh, getting into that Sambhog Leela, they are just so showing us that Sambhog Leela physically, they are actually all rubbish. Those who are actually Krishna Vimukh, Gaur Nagari, Party, this kind of Sambhog Ras, they are showing that Prakrit Sambhog Ras, they are actually showing us. It is just uh, all, just because of the for- forgetfulness of Krishna. Because to get, uh, Krishna means to get that Prakrit Vipralam Ras inside us. But they are thinking that they are actually getting the Ras. Where the Ras and where the Rasik is, they don't know about that. Their situation is material, totally material. So in this Vipralamba Kal, in this Vipralamba time, this kind of Vipralamba Kal, this kind of Krishna Smaran, there is actually Hari Vishmriti, that is the actual Parakashtha. But uh, in order to get uh, those all those Prakrit Sahajiyas, they are actually just uh, getting that, just in uh, uh, getting the, they are just getting into this uh, Prakrit Sambhog Leela and that is, and they are just uh, showing us that they are getting that uh, Prakrit Ras Leela, uh, but it is not like that. But they definitely will not be getting anything. Those who are Sambhog Vadi, those who always want Sambhog in this material world, those who are topmost Bhogi, just enjoy, just eat and just relax. They have this uh, formula in their life. Just eat, sleep, drink. These kind of uh, Sambhog Vadi, they just want to uh, want their own sense gratify, gratification. They are actually just getting all, all the time they are thinking of their own enjoyment. It is already written there. Externally, they are showing it externally, that's it. But inside they are just want to enjoy on their own. So inside their home, their heart, this Krishna Bhakti, Shuddha Krishna Bhakti is not at all possible to get manifested. In Chaitanya Charitamrita also it is written about this point. That is called Prem. Maybe slightly we are actually thinking about our own enjoyment. Then it will just convert it into calm. It will become calm. And when you are just doing it for Krishna, Preeti, that you are just going to satisfy the uh, Krishna Preeti in order to get that, just to satisfy sense organ of Krishna, then it will become 
अपराकृत काम भजन श्री गौरंग श्री गौरंग नागर दोज दैट गौरंग इज हीरो एंड नागरी एंड ऑल अदर हीरोइंस दिस काइंड ऑफ अरेंजमेंट डेकोरेशन दे आर डूइंग बट वृंदावन दास ठाकुर एक्चुअली जस्ट स्पीटिंग ऑन दिस वृंदावन दास ठाकुर इज जस्ट स्पीटिंग ऑन दिस वृंदावन दास ठाकुर इज स्पीकिंग इन दिस इन दिस अवतार महाप्रभु हैजेंट हर्ड अबाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ फीमेल नेम सो दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार इज देयर मे बी इन साइड दे आर हैविंग दैट एंजॉयिंग मूड इज देयर इन साइड देयर हार्ट बट स्टिल दिस इज कॉल्ड दे आर स्पीकिंग दैट गौरंग महाप्रभु इज द हीरो बिकॉज इफ द गौरंग महाप्रभु इज हीरो then when gorang mahaprabhu will be hero then definitely they will be have that some bhog with some heroine then definitely we will also enjoy like that so in this way these are nagari vad that's why they are called they are actually all busy in making gorang as hero they actually not getting the actual mystery behind of gorang mahaprabhu and just to get into we prelambras who is all the time there in that and for the jeevas it is the top most basic point to just get that we pralamba aprakritras inside their heart so by that gorang leela gor vishnu priya gor gadadhar this time kind of, by all this mahaprabhu what kind of instruction is given to us different different kind of instructions mahaprabhu has given bhakti mo thakur also has given us that in archan mark That Gaur Vishnu Priya is there, but in Bhajan Mal, this Gaur Badada is there. Shri Gorang Lila, that is actual mystery of Shri Gorang Lila. That Shri Krishna, those who have just taken the ashray of Shri Krishna, all the time they are actually get manifested in Vipralambras. All the time they are busy in Vipralambras. They are actually manifested in that ras. All the time. The word Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Ji has written in the Kirtan as well. That how Prabhu Radha Govind the how just come in front of us. Swayam Bhagwan is coming in the form of Radha Govind in front of us. So this kind of lot of things are given in the Chaitanya Charita Amrit. Already very beautiful. It is written there. So, like this, Prabhu is speaking. These sahajiyas and the viprambi wa bi chesta. This kind of thinking they have. They are actually so much foolish, and they are actually uh, aim is different. Ma Prabhu, in this Gaur Lila. Not at all having this kind of sambhog. There is no point of getting sambhog in this Gaur Lila. Whether where there is Gaur Lakshmi Priya, where is Gaur Vishnu Priya, whosoever is there, what kind of Lila Mahaprabhu is doing that that time? Mahaprabhu in there in Sapna Vila Samrit also there is one book. Vishnu Chakravarti Pad is speaking in Gorang Lila. And Vishnu Chakravarti already has told uh, openly in front of everyone that this Gorang Mahaprabhu Ashtakala Lila. Just on that confidence, who are not getting that taste for Ashtakala Lila, they cannot uh, understand the Ashtakala Lila of Radha Govind. It is already there uh, happened in Madhvendra Puri Pad. It is actually different for them. For them, they have their different, separate, and different vichar inside their heart. 
दैट वी प्रलम बाप ऑफ गोरंग महाप्रभु इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट देयर इनसाइड देयर हार्ट भगवान हैज ऑलरेडी गिवन देम बिफोर सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस काइंड ऑफ दे हैव अ डिफरेंट केस बट फॉर अदर्स महाप्रभु व्हाट हैज टोल्ड दैट वी प्रलम माधवेंद्रपुरी पाठ दिस वी प्रलम भाव ऑफ गोरंग महाप्रभु माधवेंद्रपुरी पाठ If it is just uh, if no one is not at all understanding this bhav, then he is not at all eligible to do gaudiya bhajan. Not at all, he is eligible to do gaudiya bhajan. And in the way of archan, Gaur Vishnu Priya, and in the bhajan mark, it is Gaur ka dhadar bhakti unda guru speaking. And and Gaur. and with god vishnu priya maybe with the god lakshmi priya devi there is no uh, leela of any sambhog that's why this god of dar is there just to get the vipralam that separation vishnu priya devi has just become a support in his leela mahaprabhu has just uh, this kind of bhav of vishnu priya devi has just taken the support so how vipralam is possible there mahaprabhu has just to get out of the house with the full separate if separation mood and uh, mahaprabhu has just uh, left everything has just went away from the house when at that time you see the actual feeling what vishnu priya devi having for gorang so this vishnu priya devi leela is not for sambhog for gadadhar also it is not sambhog leela but this is actually a vipralamb leela and vishnu priya devi in order to just get nourishment to this gor leela this vipralamb bhav of the gor leela in order to get nourishment to that vishnu priya devi has just come in order to nourish that leela bhakti no thakur has just spoken this point apart from that it is not at all possible to do bhajan that kram of bhajan that kram of gradual procedure of bhajan nobody wants to listen the what the final goal maybe we will be discussing procedure of bhajan krishna leela everything just by krishna gun leela smaran etc etc all bhagwan has just just giving his body mind everything speech he just want to get engaged in this all the time every mind body mind and speech should be engaged in krishna seva all the time and our tongue should go do all the time do krishna naam kirtan krishna roop krishna parikar krishna leela kirtan should be going on all the time all the time all actually just have to remember this smaran kirtan of krishna leela we just need to make sure that our body speech and mind is just getting uh, into this up till that point that uh, sadhak will get into that uh, uh, top most stage and then only in at that stage only we will get uh, that brajvasi stage there are lot of things regarding this also in bhakti rasamrita sindhu also we are discussing this point means one 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 to one and a half years before i was discussing this point that under the guidance of brajvasi we just need to get uh, we just need to stay in braj that is the actually moral of all the upadesh what we are getting it means that all the time we just need to under the guidance of brajvasi we just need to stay who is brajvasi brajvasi is bhakti no thakur shila prabhupad is brajvasi shila shirada ko swami maharaj is brajvasi So what is the actual uh, uh, vyakya what is the actual uh, definition of brajvasi prabhupada has already given that who is actually a prakrit brajvasi prabhupada has given the definition in their life by body speech and mind everything they have just uh, given it for the actual uh, uh, service and satisfaction of bhagwan their only target is to satisfy bhagwan krishna and there is no other uh, set no other target apart from that maybe someone is fighting with them what what all they can do for them they are not at all worried about that and from inside their heart this kind of seva mood is always there for bhagwan that is also is prem seva bhav 